I wanted to do something different and unique for this table, so I found this ribbon and I knew exactly what direction I was headed in. I'm going to be using oranges, yellows, and greens in these neon hues. Talk about a colorful table. My inspiration was this ribbon, but you can find your own inspiration in artwork, in clothing, in rug patterns, greeting cards, in an outdoor garden. I'm having six people for dinner. I decided to remove my rectangular dining table and opted to rent this 60-inch round. It costs less than $10 to rent, and you can find this at your local party rental store. I'm just adding a protective covering, which is just a round plastic cloth. And in order to get out the wrinkles, since you can't iron it, I've tossed it in the dryer for less than 10 seconds with some damp cloth. It gets the wrinkles right out. I'm doing a little bit of a different take on my tablecloth. And what I'm going to use is this beautiful orange cloth. It has a couple of wears and a couple of holes and stains, but I love the size and the shape and the color. So I'm going to drape that right over my table. Now what I've done is I found at the local fabric store a beautiful overlay fabric. It has a burnt out design to it. And I've purchased this as an end bolt so I got a great bargain on a lot of fabric. And I'm simply gonna drape this right over to disguise all those stains, holes, and wears and tears. This fabric is not completely round, and it measures 57 inches, and I've cut it to fit 110, so I have some draping underneath. You can also do this with a lace tablecloth, or just a plain sheer fabric that you might have. I decided to purchase enough fabric so I can drape my table. And what I'm going to do is every 30 inches on this piece of fabric, which measures 240 inches long, I'm going to tie a ribbon. So every 30 inches, I've tied a ribbon. And then what I'm going to do is take my pins and actually cut my table into pie shapes. And I'm going to add a pin at each piece of the pie, I call it. I've added four pins, and now I'm going to actually cut that pie again by adding four more pins. And this gives me an idea of where I'm eventually going to drape the rest of that fabric. I'm starting here and I'm just going to pin the draping fabric through the tablecloth. I haven't even hemmed the ends of this fabric only because I'm going to tuck the unfinished edges in towards the table so nobody sees them. And as you can see, you get this really, really pretty effect. And at the end of the pinning, what I like to do is go around and make sure that all the pin heads are hidden by each ribbon. I will be adding the charges to the table. And I'm using these beautiful terracotta chargers. What I'll do is I'll place them evenly around the table, making sure they are at least one inch above the edge of the end of the table. Then I will be adding our dinner plate. And what I love is this layered look. We'll frame the plate and any which way you'd like to put these. And again, getting the kids involved is a lot of fun. No right or wrong way. And we're just going to put them right around. As you can see, this adds a really nice festive touch. I'm serving shrimp cocktail as an appetizer. So I'm going to be adding an additional plate to the mix so I won't soil the dinner plate. 
These plates I actually purchased at a different location than my charger and dinner plate. But see how well they blend? It's all in the blending and coordination of your colors. Aren't these green martini glasses fabulous? I'm going to use these for the shrimp cocktail. I'm going to show you how to simply build one by adding lettuce in the bottom, adding a pumpkin in the middle, and putting the shrimp around the edge. And then I can pass the cocktail sauce. Rather than traditional bread and butter plates, I am going to add the bread dipping bowl for each guest. This holds the olive oil and herbs, and each guest can add their own mixture of herbs to their olive oil, and then they can pass the bread. Let's place the flatware. The only fork that is ever placed to the right is my cocktail or seafood fork. You don't always need napkin rings. These look great just knotted. Let me show you how. First you take your napkin, simply roll it. These place cards are a lot of fun and everybody will get a kick out of seeing their name glowing. You simply write the guest's name on the side of the glow stick and I'm using a red permanent marker so the name doesn't rub off. Our next item on the table is our water glasses and add a little fun. What I like to do is take a little bit of neon food coloring, just several drops, add a little water and there you're in your same theme colors, your greens and your oranges and you have some neon hues. Now we're going to also add our wine glasses. I'm using this particular glass for either red or white wine. Now the talk of the table, the centerpiece. These flowers and vases are simple, elegant, and just the right size and color for my table. They're really easy to make. It's a simple vase, and I love using Gerber daisies. You can use a filler flower to add some yellow accent color. Then we're going to add another glow stick and set that right inside and each vase will have a glow. Place that right in the centerpiece and I've made a circle around the middle. What I've also done is add these simple votive candle holders in green and yellow. My candle inside just has a little tiny drop of water in the bottom so that I can get the candle out with ease. I also found these great little glass balls at a Christmas store and I've decided to add these to the table as well. Place those around at everybody's spot. Add a few salt and pepper shakers and we're ready to eat. Let's go get our chairs. I've rented chairs, which I'm going to decorate with chair enhancers. This is a simple piece of tool, or you can use netting. I cut it about three feet long. I'm just simply going to weave it in and out and add my chair enhancer. Simply tie this up with a piece of ribbon. on both sides. There we are, ready to go. Since I'm serving dessert at a different location, I've decided to put my spoons and forks and coffee cups and dessert plates on a separate tray. I've made this dessert portable with this lovely presentation in a basket. I've just added the essentials, which are coffee mugs, dessert plates, forks, and spoons. I'm going to add a napkin to each coffee mug. I've also added honey sticks, coffee and creamer, and I found these great lime rock candy sticks as stirs. 
This is a sweet ending to another beautiful iSet table.